Hi, my name is Victor Wong, and I'm the CEO of Music Computing. And in the last 10 years, I've been lucky enough to be in some of the biggest studios in the world, uh, watching really famous producers produce music. But since then, the world's changed, and the tools needed to create music have changed also. Now, back then, large mixing consoles were necessary because everything was done analog. Now, everything's digital, so people use digital audio workstation software like Pro Tools and plugins and things like that. And because of that, these large mixing consoles are really becoming dinosaurs. Now, that doesn't mean that they have no use because if you're tracking a live band or an orchestra, you'll need to have boards like that. But for the most part, when I'm in these huge studios and I'm watching these $100,000 boards being used, it's two channels being used for the DAW, which is like mostly uh, Pro Tools, and then uh, a couple more for vocals. So while it's important and it looks impressive to the clients, it's really a waste. Motion Command Modulus is a system comprised of touchscreens and other controllers that are designed in a rack mount form factor. So you can drop it right into your consoles and turn those consoles into all digital consoles or a hybrid of analog and digital. The main module for Modulus, uh, which is supposed to replace your mixing board, is comprised of a 32-inch or a 42-inch multi-touch touchscreen. Now included with that, we also include a hardware transport and a motorized fader. So the combination of all that provides really great controllability of any software that you may want to use. The 22-inch Modulus module is a 22-inch screen in a portrait orientation, which is great because it allows you to put rack interfaces on there very well, like the effects change from your uh, mastering channel or a reason rack. Uh, in addition to that, we also add a trackpad with mouse buttons on it so that you have total control even over the smallest objects. The 10-inch Modulus module is a single-touch 10-inch screen that's paired also with our touchpad and uh, mouse buttons. It's designed to be used as auxiliary control for anything that you want, and more than one of them can be used in each system. A uh, QWERTY computer keyboard module is also available in the event that you need to have a computer keyboard inset into your console. Uh, it also comes with a really nice uh, trackball. While only one module, 22 inches in size or larger, can be used in each setup as a touchscreen controller, the 10-inch uh, versions can be used uh, in multiple units. So you can pair up multiple 10-inch ones with a 22 or a 32 or 42. Now having said that, if you're okay with using, let's say, a 22 with just a trackpad because you need the video screen along with a 42 inch that's your main controller with touchscreen capabilities and then a number of different 10 inch versions that will still work perfectly fine. The touch surfaces from the motion command line of touchscreens are very responsive and quick. However, if you're using software that's not designed for touchscreens, the controls may be too small for your fingers or it's just bad code and it doesn't respond quick enough because it's old software. Because of this, we include the trackpad and also the motorized fader and transports so that you have all of it to be able to use to control anything that you need. But as software manufacturers catch up to the current times and produce software that's touchscreen compatible, automatically your system, the motion command, is going to be very, very quick. So this is the new Motion Command Modulus system for music computing. As you can see, it can instantly give new life to your existing console. You can turn it into a hybrid analog and digital or all digital if you want. And if you want to create a brand new console, we can help you with that too. For more information about these great products, go to www.musiccomputing.com.